Now I'd like to recognize Mr. Cody Desitel, Executive Director of the Confederated Tribes of the Colville Reservation and President of the Intertribal Timber Council. Good to have you back, Mr. Desitel. You have five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Chair Westerman, and you covered half of my intro for me, so I appreciate that. Um, in addition to serving as the Executive Director for Colville and uh, President for Intertribal Timber Council, I also served on the Wildland Fire Mitigation and Management Commission, uh, which are sent our report to Congress in September of 23 with nearly 150 consensus recommendations to help improve how we prepare for, respond to, and recover from wildfires. On behalf of the ITC and its more than 60 member tribes, we thank you for the opportunity to share our perspectives on this draft legislation. Tribes actively manage their forests to support their ecological, cultural, and economic goals. Despite our diligent efforts to manage our forests, we've had Un, or experienced unprecedented wildfire impacts. Since 2015, the Colville Reservation has seen more than 700,000 of its 1.4 million acre reservation burn in wildfires. Unfortunately, Colville is not alone, as many tribes have experienced devastating fire seasons over the past decade. The risk of wildfire to Indian lands is compounded by the thousands of miles of shared boundary with federal agencies, primarily the U.S. Forest Service and Bureau of Land Management. In addition to the wildfire risk from adjacent federal lands, tribes are also impacted by limited suppression resources due to priority placed on fires burning in unmanaged federal lands that pose a risk to communities and infrastructure. This scenario occurred on the Cabo Reservation in 2015. Because of other fires burning in the region were deemed threats to communities, suppression resources were prioritized to those incidents, leaving the North Star Fire to burn on the reservation with very little support from the National Fire System. For these reasons, the ITC commends Chair Westerman's intentions with this bill to prioritize fuel treatment in areas needed to protect communities and infrastructure and authorize accelerated procedures to implement those projects. While ITC believes that treatment across the landscape are needed to reduce fire severity and post-fire effects, we understand the urgency of protecting communities most at risk of wildfire as the critical first step. In addition to the criteria used to prioritize fuels reduction projects, ITC recommends adding a provision that allows states and Indian tribes to identify and request additional areas for assessment and treatment. The ITC also appreciates that the bill authorizes tribes to request participation in fire shed assessments. Tribes are best suited to define risks, strategies for reducing those risks, and determining the benchmark goals for their communities. For the sake of parity, we request that Tribal Forest Protection Act projects be provided the same implementation authorities such as emergency NEPA procedures and categorical exclusions. This, along with the litigation reforms proposed in the bill requiring consideration of long-term effects of no action, could increase the use of TFPA. As an example, the Cobble Tribe had a TFPA project recently litigated. The project shared 10 miles of boundary with the reservation and was approved by the Forest Service in 2014. The project was initially modified because of the 2015 North Star Fire and because the NEPA decision was litigated in 2023, we are working on a new version of the project. Now, 10 years later, we still have no treatment accomplished on the ground. While tribes understand the importance of environmental review, we also understand the potential impacts of taking no action. The ITC appreciates the inclusion of traditional ecologic knowledge in the definition of best available science, as this can be critical to inform our shared management objectives. The ITC also appreciates the inclusion of cultural burning as a des designated fire shed management project. The commission supported and validated the use of beneficial fire, including prescribed fire and cultural burning in for resource management objectives where they're appropriate. ITC supports the bill's provisions that address full tribal inclusion in the Good Neighbor Authority and adding the Park Service and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to that authority. We also support better fuel or better reporting of fuels reduction projects by type and effectiveness. A true accounting of footprint acres with a quantified risk reduction will help track our success and inform future investments and projects. Improving reporting also in line with the Commission's recommendations for improved outcomes based performance measures. ITC also supports the creation of an interagency group focused on technology development and deployment. The Wildfire Commission had 16 recommendations dedicated to integrating modern science and technology. On the whole, ITC supports the intent of this legislation to accelerate the pace and scale of high priority fuels work on federal lands. ITC also requests that the committee review additional recommendations from the Wildfire Commission report, particularly those that involve tribes and tribal forest and fire management. Thank you. 
Thank you for your testimony, Mr. Desitel. And now we're going to have questions. 